Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be starting a little mini video series on pattern drafting and kind of just showing you easy ways to update your wardrobe. I want to show you how easy making your own patterns can be and we're going to start with a basic knit pencil skirt because when we draft patterns, particularly this one, we usually do it in quarters. So we don't draft the whole skirt, we draft a quarter of the skirt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get started and show you what measurements you need to take in order to draft this pattern. I did my waist to knee first and then I did my waist to hip, recorded that. And then I took my hip measurement, which was 40 inches, and because, like I said, we're drafting a quarter of the skirt, you want to divide it by four, so whatever that is. Mine's a nice even number, so it divides evenly into 10, and then my waist was 30 inches, and I divide that as well into four, and that becomes 7.5 inches. So you're going to see kind of how these measurements play out into our pattern. So now I'm just going to get everything laid out, and let's start drafting. So to start this draft, all I'm going to do is draw a rectangle 29 inches long, which is my waist to knee measurement, and the width is going to be my hip measurement divided into 4, which is 10 inches. After that's done, the next step is to mark my hip line, which I'm going to measure down from the top of my pattern, 13 inches, which is my waist to hip measurement, and draw a line straight across. Then I'm going to take a quarter of my waist measurement, which is 7.5 inches, and mark that with a dot along the top, and connect it with a gentle slope towards my hip line. Then I'm going to taper in my skirt bottom. I just think it gives a little bit more of a fitted silhouette, so I'm going to taper it in an inch and a half, and then connect that with my hip line. I know this is a little bit of a messy pattern, but I'm going to focus on making my trace offs a little bit neater, so, whoops, messed up. My next step is to trace off two copies. One of them is going to be my front skirt and the next is my back skirt. And I'm going to mark half inch seam allowance along my, along all edges, except for the front of my front skirt, which is, you don't need to seam allowance there because you're gonna cut it on fold. So the front and back are going to look exactly the same except for the back is going to have seam allowance down the center so that you can sew that seam closed. The last step to drafting this pattern is to do your front and back waistband pieces. Now to do this, I just used the measurements 3 inches high by a quarter of my waist measurement, which was 7.5 inches for me. And then just as the front and back skirt, I'm going to add seam allowances to all sides with the exception of the skirt front waistband, which is going to be cut on fold. Got a little buddy here who's going to help me finish up the video because she doesn't want to leave mommy alone right now. So I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope that it showed you how easy pattern making can really be. It's so simple and easy. In my next video I'm going to show you how to sew the skirt and how to fit it so that it really fits nicely to your body shape. So uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to put links down below to my website, Facebook, Twitter, all of that in nice paper. Yeah. And we will talk to you in the next video. Say bye.